Preamble and preliminaries are two very important terminologies of a tender or contract document. But do you know what they both actually stand for and what is the difference between preamble and preliminaries? What is the preamble in construction contracts? The preamble is a description of all documents that are normally populated during the preparation of the contract documents such as contract specifications, cost estimate, bills of quantities and other clauses of contracts depending on the contract type. A description of the following document is normally included within the preamble, a brief of stakeholders and the contracting parties of the contract. Project backgrounds. A summary of the terms of negotiations. Tender process. All associated contract documents and annexers, a preamble should be a crisp and short note. It should only include relevant points in a brief paragraph. Any further detail of clauses, caveats, exclusion, etc. should be provided in the main document. The preamble section and bills of quantities. Bill of quantities is one of the most important document of a tender or contract document. The preamble is the first section of a BOC and it assists the reader to understand the unit price items and a high-level description of the method of measurement of those unit items. It is observed that sometimes people get confused between preamble and preliminaries. However, there is a significant difference between the two. Preliminaries in construction and how to calculate it? Preliminaries are normally populated as part of the tender documents. It provides the project brief that assists the tenderer or contractor to assess the project and develop the cost of preliminary items and it is referred to as the preliminary cost of the project. Preliminary also specifies the general condition of the project, subcontractor clause, method of testing and approval process, etc. The cost of preliminary includes, but is not limited to, site setup, admin facilities, office equipment, H&S facilities, welfare facilities, plant, machinery, etc. The preliminaries of the contract documents normally include, project summary, method of statements, MOS, planning condition, if applicable, construction planning and monthly progress mechanism, quality management system, subcontractors details, pre-construction information, preliminaries cost breakup, the preliminaries are normally covered in three parts, project initiation, running cost, project handover. In project initiation, the site setup, H&S, welfare facilities, permanent slash temporary site boundary fixing, etc. are covered as unit price items. In running cost, the site office daily expenses like electricity, broadband, canteen supplies, office maintenance, site vehicles, PPE, etc. are covered as a weekly or monthly budget. All the items that are essential during the handover process are covered in the project handover section and include as unit price items. The items are like removal of site, removal of temporary and permanent project boundaries, handover of health and safety file, etc. When consultants prepare the contractor's document, it is recommended that the quantity and rates of preliminaries are left blank and request enterers to fill that information. Preliminaries items for subcontracting tasks. A subcontractor carries out specific tasks in a construction project. Subcontractors are known for specialized skills such as topo survey, CCTV drainage survey, GI survey, etc. The preliminary section of the subcontractor should include their resource cost, their overheads along their daily rates. If there is an element of design activity or the specialized activity that item should also be included as the unit item cost. Difference between preliminaries and preambles. Preliminaries and preambles both are very important sections of a contract or tender document, but they are not the same. Both cover an entirely different set of information. The preamble is a brief description of key items of tender or contract documents such as contract specifications, cost estimate, bills of quantities, etc. Whereas preliminaries covers the cost of those items that are not part main design package work but are considered as project overheads are priced as unit price items, as explained above. I hope this video enlightens you with some critical but important aspects of preambles and preliminaries. Please feel free to share your comments.